As a family physician for the last 35 years, I've had the privilege of caring for thousands of women and children and their families, and that includes those who've experienced the joy of hearing their unborn child's heartbeat for the very first time through the gift of ultrasound technology. It also includes the sadness that I've seen in those women and couples who've lost their children through miscarriage, and yes, even abortion, including a young woman who I just recently saw who had two abortions in her teenage years, was never informed about the consequences of those surgical abortions, which led her to have three losses of her babies, three miscarriages. And now she's pregnant for a sixth time and praying for that baby to be able to cling to life. If she could talk to you directly, and if she was emotionally able to talk to you directly, she'd ask you to vote no on Amendment 4, which is coming up this election day. The amendment which would allow abortion through nine months, which would take away the parents' ability to make an informed decision to give consent for their children, and which would allow providers who are not even physicians or licensed people to make decisions that determine the fate, not only of these unborn children, but the women who experience these chemical abortions and surgical abortions. Please realize that you have been lied to by the other side when they send out a doctor in a white coat like this with gray hair who says he could be thrown into jail. That man is not even a practicing physician in the state of Florida. He's not practicing anywhere. I'm here as a practicing physician who cares for women and children, imploring you to vote no on Amendment 4. Not only for the sake of those unborn children, but for the sake of the women who never get treated the way they should be treated. We can't allow this to go on. Vote no on Amendment 4. Thank you very much.